Modern turn mill machines can produce high quality precision parts quickly. The challenge is to create the most efficient toolpaths possible so you can make your parts faster and maximize your profitability. Feature Turn Mill combines Feature Turn with Feature Mill 2.5D, enabling you to program any combination of milled or turned features in a single setup so that you can make full use of your multitasking machines. So the steps for creating turn mill parts are very similar to creating either turning or mill parts. You still define your stock, either draw or import your geometry, and chain that geometry in the curves. When you go to create features, you have a choice of whether the feature is a turning feature or a milling feature. So for a turning feature, the interface is exactly like feature turn. Select the feature type and go through the wizard. I'll grab that curve right there and click finish. To create a milling feature, you simply go to the new feature wizard and tell it to go with a turn mill style feature. And that opens up the milling interface. And the steps are similar. I'll go through, select my curve, select my other dimensions, strategies, and click finish. When you create milling features on the OD of the part, you have an option of whether you make these features flat, as you can see there with my preview, or the features can be wrapped around the index axis by simply checking a box. And you see how my toolpath changes. We can also create patterns either on the face of the part or around the OD. And of course when your simulation is finished you have full NC code ready to take to the machine. Feature Turn Mill is also supported by feature recognition, both automatic feature recognition and interactive feature recognition. Automatic feature recognition does an excellent job of finding features that are aligned with the z-axis of the machine. So I'll go through my wizard, select the features I want, and click finish, and all of the features are recognized. For features that are on the OD, I can use interactive feature recognition. I'll go to feature and to create this side feature up here, I'll go to turn mill and create a side extracting with feature recognition. Click next, select my tool axis direction, so I want my tool normal to that face right there. And then I can go through the wizard as though it is any other side feature created with feature recognition. And finish. Then I can repeat the process to find the pocket. I'll define this as a pocket with feature recognition. Use the same index axis. Use side surfaces. Select my surfaces. And click finish. Once I've created all my features, I can run a 3D simulation to see a solid representation of the part, and then I can post my code.